primitive numeric types are useful for storing single values in memory. But when dealing with calculation using double and float types, there is a problem with the rounding. It happens because memory representation doesn't map exactly to the value. For example, a double value is supposed to take 64 bits. But Java doesn't use all 64 bits. It only stores what it thinks the important parts of the number. So you can arrive to the wrong values when you adding values together of the float or double type. In order to show a problem, we will write a sense calculator. Let's create a main class which has a declaration of a double value with a hold the value of 74 cents. Let's create a second double value that I'll name cent sum. The variable will be used to store a summary of calculation. And I'll calculate it by adding value together three times, with cents plus cents plus cents. If you open a calculator, and calculate it, you will see that the right output is 2.22. Let's output the result. We will write system.out.println then I'll put in a label of sum of sends. And then I'll append to that sent sum. And I'll run the code. I get this result. Sum of sense is 2.21999 and in the end is 8. Clearly, that value is not the real value that we need to receive. If I then store that value in a database and base other calculations on that, I can cause all kinds of problems. To fix this, Java provides a class called Big Decimal. There are actually two of these classes. There's one called Big Integer and one called Big Decimal, but Big Decimal is specifically designed to take care of this precision problem. To use Big Decimal on a number, first, you need to convert the number to a string. I'll declare a string value that I'll call strcents. I'll use the double class, that's the helper class for double values, and I'll call its toString method and pass in value. Then I'll output the value with strcents. I get an accurate representation of the value. Now, I'll take that string and will populate it into an instance of the big decimal class. I'll declare big decimal. I'll type the beginning of the class name and then press enter to select it. Notice, at the top of my code, I added a new import statement. I'll be talking about imports later on but what important to know now is that the primitive types and helper classes are members of a package called java.lang. That package is always available to your code. But when you want to use classes that are members of other packages, such as java.math, you need to explicitly import them into your code. So I've declared the big decimal type and I'll call this money converter. We will instantiate the object with the keyword new and then the name of the class again and I'll pass in the str sense. Now, I've wrapped the number in a complex object and I want to create a sum again. The result of the calculation will be in the money converter variable. I'll start with money converter and then I'll call a method of that object called add. I'll pass in money converter again and the add method returns a new money converter object so then I can simply call the add method again and pass in money converter again. Now, money converter will be the result of two addition operations. Then once again I'll do some printing. This time I'll print sum of cents, and I'll append to that money converter to string. You can't just pass in money converter as an object, it won't be interpreted as a string the way you want it to be. Instead, you call the to string method, and here's the result. The sum of adding the primitives together was imprecise, but after taking those values and turning them into strings and then wrapping them in big decimal objects and adding them together again, I see that the result is accurate. This is especially important when you're dealing with currency values where precision is absolutely critical. When dealing with money, you need to be extra careful. But using big decimal to wrap those numbers in your Java code can make sure that your calculations come out accurate. Click like and subscribe to the channel.